Hi parents, I wanted to make a video of what your child will be practicing this week in band. Sometimes it's hard to tell what should my kid be doing when they're at home. Well, I'm going to run very briefly through the three steps that we're going to use um, to help them be able to play their notes and begin to read music. For this week, we're going to be using the lesson book. And we're going to open up to page four. Now, when you look at page four, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you today the trumpet book but this applies to all the instruments. The names of the notes will be different, obviously, but they're all gonna be set up the same way. Now on page four, half the page, I'm gonna come up close, half the page is gonna show you three notes. So for the trumpet, it's G, and it shows you a G. It's F, and it shows you an F. And it's E, and it shows you an E. And what the students are supposed to do this week is they're gonna to start to memorize where on these lines these notes occur. And you can see here, this one's on the second line, this one is in a space, and this one is on the bottom line. They're gonna to start to recognize those three notes. Now, if you play flute, it's different notes. If you play clarinet, it's different notes and so forth. But it's still three notes, and you're gonna find those spaces on the lines. Well, now the other side of page four, where it says chapter two, there's gonna be eight different examples using these notes. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. This is gonna be a three-step process. I'm gonna choose one of the examples. In this case, it's gonna be example number five. And the first thing that your child should do is they should recognize the notes and sing along. So I'm gonna do it right now. This is what your child will do at home. So we're gonna say the name of the note while, while our finger is pointing. So I would say this, G, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, rest, 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 rest. F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, rest, 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 rest. G, two, three, four, E, two, three, four. So what I did is I picked one of the numbers I matched the notes that I saw over here with the music that was over here. Now your child is gonna repeat this probably many times until they feel comfortable. The notes all kind of look the same. The print is really, really tiny. So they're gonna do this multiple times. Once you feel like, once they feel, once they feel like they're comfortable, they could sing through it. They know all the names of the notes in that particular line that they chose. Step two, Step two of three is to pick up the instrument and manipulate the buttons or the slides or the keys. So since I'm doing the trumpet book, I would pick up my trumpet and I would sing along. I would go like this. I would push the pro proper buttons with the notes. So I'd go G, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, rest, two, three, and F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four. G, two, three, four, E, two, three, four. Now, if they had a flute, they would be doing the flute fingers. If they had a clarinet, they'd be doing the clarinet fingers or the trombone slide. They're gonna try to sing the name of the note at the same time. Um, moving the keys and buttons and slides on the instrument. Now the final step, the final step, this is gonna take multiple repetitions so they feel really comfortable with it. The final step is they're going to play it. So now they're gonna recognize the names of the notes, they're gonna recognize how to manipulate their instrument, and they're gonna to strive to produce that beautiful sound that we've been working on. This is the example for number five on trumpet. Two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Okay, and that's what practice is going to look like this week. If you have any questions, shoot me an email anytime. Happy practicing.